God, we come before you standing in the need of your divine attention. We examine our life in light of your scripture. We find ourselves undone. We know, dear God, it's not within us to direct our own steps. It's the humbling realization of our own weakness, our own ineptness that drives us to the very foot of the cross. Knowing, dear God, that it is there that we find forgiveness. It is there, dear God, we find pardon. We find favor. Not because we are so good, but because you are so good to us. And you demonstrated that goodness when Jesus said, forgive them for they know not what they do. So today we come in celebration. Celebration of what Jesus accomplished in our behalf. For he accomplished what we could not accomplish ourselves. And now we stand before you, dear God, drenched in the blood of Jesus, clothed in the righteousness of Christ. Thank you, dear God, for being for us what we could not be for ourselves, for delivering us from the, the punishment, for rescuing us from the very pit of hell, giving us a new name, a new identity in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your blessing, for your mercy, for your grace, for your favor, for the peace that we now enjoy in Christ. Help us not to take that for granted, however. Allow the resurrection of Christ energize our lives, that we may live resurrected, empowered lives. Lives of triumph. Lives of victory. Lives of accomplishment. Lives of love and peace. That we may be the ambassadors, the ones who are able to go into a dying world and represent light. They may also see their way, their way back home. We thank you to God for the very activity that has taken place here today. We pray that we have been edified and energized to go forth from this place, committing to be everything that you are calling us to be, that we may do and accomplish the things that you challenge us to accomplish. For we are doing it all out of a love and a great appreciation for what you have already accomplished for us. And now because Jesus would not come down from the cross, we now voluntarily take up our own cross to follow him. We take up our own cross as we die to self, that we may live for you, as we may uh, exemplify the very stigmata, the very marks of Jesus in our lives. Yes, we're willing to suffer because he suffered for us. Bless us that we may be a blessing to others. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. And let the church say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated.